Doing it live. You don't start looking shiny. Are you? I'm looking very shiny, actually. Well, that's probably the... That's probably the bright light. Hello. Hey, everybody. What's up? David and Ryan and Elizanda and... I'm sorry, I can't read. I'm... Yeah. But uh, hello. Greek. Welcome, welcome. So... I used to be able to read in Greek. Back in grad school, we had to do Greek. Interesting. Hmm. I know Greek, more. like, letters and things for science. A lot of science and math things. Hmm. Use that, but... Yeah. So, uh, today we're doing some snacks. You want to do the, the snacks in that box over there, too? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. a yeah. little bonus action. You want some bonus stream? Bonus snack. Yep. I forget where some of them are. Like, there's a Russian one. Oh, yes. I don't remember. What are you looking at? The box. I'm trying to see the letters. Oh, I didn't know. I thought you said it was that way. Like, the other direction. I was like, what <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> I guess I was trying to see the box. <laughs> Oh, man. Yep. I should probably share this to some places so yeah. people know that we're... I mean, unless you're on Instagram or by your phone, you probably wouldn't even know. Right. So the ones we have here, this... What did we say this is? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure we said something. It was probably We looked smart. it up at one time. It'll be in the made in like down here. Or something There's maybe. Thailand. There you go. I was gonna say Thailand, but I'm like I don't remember getting Thailand. Yeah. Or Tha yeah. Well, we. I don't know if we did. Extra, yeah. So I that... bought these separately from the store. Yeah. And then we also have some from. Hmm. I think these are, yeah, these are Italian chips. Yeah, I think this might Amica? be the Italian box. I think it's an Italian box. Although so we're doing a lot of Italian things. It doesn't have the sticker on yeah. here, so it doesn't tell us where it's from. And the last one, I think this one is, this looks like Russian. Hmm. Fair. I'm yep, made in Russia. Yeah. Yep. And I think so. these are all spicy. Because there's a pepper, um, pepper. This one I think is I not so I don't remember. Gusto Pomerini. Pomodorini. I don't know. Anyone speak <laughs> Italian? I mean, we can look it up. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> gotta, gotta clear a space. It's tomato something. Offal chips. Tomagach something. Yeah. Put it down. A. Amica. Oh, hey, Beth. Tomato flavor? Bruschetta mm. mm. mm -hmm. chips, perhaps. No. Hmm. Bacon and lime. Uh, I think it's this one. Maybe. <laughs> Ketchup potato chips. Yeah. Yep. Ketchup chips. You want to try this first before we sure. open the other box? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we can ask them, do you want to do the box first or the extras first? Yeah, let's just do the box. Right, let's do this first. Very uh, vinegar forward, mm. scent wise. Mm -hmm. It looks. Not, they don't look too greasy or anything. No, it looks nice. Yeah. I got to like right, like. It went straight through like the water on my teeth, and now it <laughs> oh. has that pressure, you know. Hmm. The first one was very vinegary, and I was like, I don't like this. But then the first when it hit my tongue, it was like tomato, not ketchup really, which is like pure tomato. And then yeah, it, scraggles. it evened out a little bit. Hmm. I don't know if she's going to eat that, but mm. I have one more. I don't know. The first bite of each one is like, oh, vinegar. And then like the sweetness of the ketchup ke kicks in. Oh, so no, it's man. tomato, then vinegar, and then the chip comes <clears throat> out to me. That's how it goes through with mine. Weird. Jacob, that's a good call. Got to have snacks. I hope you all out there have snacks. Got to have snacks. We don't want to be the only ones eating snacks here. No. And these I can't look for because they're... Gone now. 
No, because I, oh, well, I can't yeah. say any of this. I don't know what any of that means. Look at the Russia one. It's not even no, out there anymore. anymore. Yep. Yeah. She is eating the chip. I don't think this is any of those. Nope. Well, you want some devil chips or you want some Russian chips? I want to try the Russian ones because I'm, I'm curious about the texture of them. They look like a sort of like a corn chip or something. Like a puff instead of a chip. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, wow. Those are much bigger than I expected it to be. Yeah. And there's also, I think, the only shape. I guess this is the only shape I thought it was going to have. Triangles? The other one. They yeah. did too, yeah. Yeah, they show triangles on the outside of the package. This but... smells very similar to the other one. Really? It kind of does. Yeah, it show triangles on the outside, but... There's none. It's all, all the just these little grids. Waffle. Well, yeah. That is so much denser than I thought yeah, it was going to be. I was just going to say, I thought it was going to be like a Funyun sort of thing. Yeah. Much denser than that. It's like if you took a bag of Funyuns and condensed them into each chip. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just not at all what I was expecting. Not spicy at all. Not even a I little bit. I can't even tell you. I mean, maybe somebody would think that it, there's a spice in there. I want to say the, the website said something like, that's right, Russia has spices too. Um, not if this is it. <laughs> it it sort of tastes like the other one a little bit texture wise very different hmm. but it's very tomato -y. Again, it doesn't have the vinegar, vinegar bit though a little bit of vinegar let's hmm. see it's not bothering me oh there is actually they did put it in english as well wheat flour rice flour pea flour salt onion mm. thai sweet pepper flavor Monosodium glutamate. Mm, king of flavor, MSG. Garlic powder, spices, paprika. Yeah. So I don't see it. Hmm. So I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't know. That, yeah. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Do you like these or the other ones better? These. Hmm. The other ones are too vinegary for me. See, these are Thai, and I, I'm more hopeful with these what do you think more hopeful or more scared no i don't think mean <laughs> i mean they have the pictures at least is just like chilies all over the chip oh, it says devil on it too it has I devil mean, and the thai know about uh they know if about it doesn't spice. taste like beets i don't mind beets do you i like beets yeah. becky's with us now hot cocoa is happening in beth's house that's good yeah Again, I have a little hair that like just landed on my face. Oh, these are gonna mean business, Audrey. <laughs> I open the bag. I open the bag, and this is the first thing I see, which is a piece of just like this is a pepper. That's just a slice of pepper. Yeah. Otherwise, they look, look like like red ruffles. ruffles. Smell a little chili-ish, but Not, like yeah. chili powder. It smells like chili 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 powder. Just kidding. These are pleasant. Mm-hmm. I got some heat to them, but mm -hmm. yeah, that was actually very nice. Yeah, I mean, they're a little bit spicier than. There's a little sweetness though to it. So the thing about these is that the spice builds over time. It it's does. not like a spice mm -hmm. that hits you immediately in the face. It's yeah. like, oh, this is zendo. Oh, there's a little. Mm, well, it's still burning. It's very non-American because we're the exact yeah. opposite. We're like, you want to be punched in the face with yeah. the flavor, and right. this it builds to it. Mm -hmm. What'd you miss, David? Oh, we're just trying out some. You should use chopsticks. Yeah. Well, the rest of them are going to be Italian, so hmm. we should get a big spoon out and, you know, twirl it. There you go. One of those forks with a crank on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really mm. good. I like these. We could, we're going to finish those up. Oh, yeah. And that's too bad they don't have more because I would have gotten some, but those Taste are... Oh, well, we have a couple bags of them at least. Might be three. Two. I think we got two of everything except for one of them that was just one. So oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. Oh. Huh. So yeah, that was good. I like that the best. They weren't out of the greasy three. either. Well, you said or grease. No. But maybe no. They were really good. I was meaning chopsticks so you don't get capsaicin in your fingers. And oh. Yeah. What but those were a know? nice heat too. Mm. Well, do you think people that don't like spicy would be like, "Ooh, this is too much"? I think some people would think and, that's too spicy. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, remember, our spice caliber calibration is. Um, I mean, it's hot. 
for a Thai food, mm. that's not going to be very spicy to them. No, if I ordered curry uh -huh. and, it, and I was like spicy and they brought mm -hmm. me that, I'd be like, mm -hmm. double this Okay. for yeah. a spicy curry. Mm -hmm. So like, if you get a spicy curry, like mm -hmm. a half spice. For the real spice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I realize you're trying to be nice yep. to me. Yep. But come on. He always, whenever we go to a Mexican restaurant, I'm the one who has to order um, the extra spicy mm. salsa because yeah. he doesn't want to be that guy. He's like, give me some hot salsa. This isn't, this isn't hot enough for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a perception that if, you know, that I'd be trying to like flex or something. And I don't care about that. It's kind of like, what, like spicy salsa. I don't mm -hmm. want them to try to like punish me because. Even if they give you a punishing one, you can mix it with what they gave you and have your own spice not that you want. What's the heck? <laughs> this is the sticker that should have been on the outside of the box. <laughs> it's really something. That is terrifying. <laughs> this is the sticker that they would have usually used to close the box. We should give that away to somebody. We should. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just put a frozen chicken curry pastry from a fish and chips joint in the oven. You have high hopes. Nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> this is funny. I, I don't like how it looks like she's got a, like a turd on her face <laughs> she's definitely been eating a poop <laughs> but also like that line just under her hairline looks like somebody has like yeah. started to do the incision that you do when you like autopsy someone and take their face off yeah it's uh, uh that's gnarly man that that's is gnarly. not good so it's it this. is italy this month no this holiday season give the gift of yums oh save ten dollars in a six or twelve month yum box that would be a nice gift hmm so we have eight things this month, apparently. You can vote on an upcoming box. We've got New Zealand, Indonesia, or Australia. Which would you pick out of those? What would you guys pick on that? New Zealand, I think. I think I would pick Indonesia. That would be my second pick. New Zealand would be my second pick. Australia, if you're, if you're out there from Australia, you're awesome. You're all beautiful. Mm. And... But I would be more interested in the other two. I feel like I've also had a lot of Australian food. Like Foster's beer? Yes. It's I mean, Australian I'm sure that's beer. all you're talking about is that's, what Foster's, other uh, Tim Tams. Tim Tams. Oh, uh, Tim Tams. Marmite. Nat. Vegemite. Vegemite, I think, is the Australian. And then Marmite, <laughs> I think, is New Zealand. Hmm. I think. I've had both of those. Somebody will correct me. So, like, I don't know what New Zealand snacks would be like, but MZ would have a lot of good chocolate. Oh, interesting. They do have good chocolate. Really? Up. Yes. They're hot chocolate. Huh. It's the kind, if you go to a uh, Is it just, like, chocolate? It's like the... Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Oh, it's so good, though. Marmite is British? Hmm. Is that One of them right? is British, yeah. And then that's the one, I think, that goes to New Zealand or something like that. I don't know. Well, I do like Tim Tams. Tim we don't Tams have Tim Tams. Yeah, we don't have any right now. You guys get those in the grocery store here, though. Yeah, Becky would go you know, to Identity. I went and looked at Target, and they don't have them right now. They don't have Stroop Waffles or Tim Tam. Like, they, their international mm. snack area is lacking right now. Mm. I'm going to blame COVID for it, but... For our show, you can just ask Chuck and Max, and they can just send us some. Yeah. Be more expensive, yeah. though. <laughs> Shipping would it, cost more than this whole box. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, so. let's just have some light things. Mm -hmm. But then yeah. sometimes light things take a lot of space, mm -hmm. like chips. So. Here's your booklet. My booklet. Yeah. And so the places we're going to this month, Venice, 3 million mask wearing party go goers attend Venetian Carnival every year. Not this year, I would hope. Mm. Gastiglione della Stivieri, Stivieri home it. of gourmet truffle shit. Italian's hard. I know. I'm sorry. I took Cause, Spanish. Because it looks like Spanish, but it's also it, not. It's not. <laughs> we got some Florence. Uh, the finest collection of Renaissance art in the world. We got Rome. Uh, we got Naples. And San Michele de, de Bari. De Bari. <laughs> you really went for an accent? And then we're like, I, I nope. stopped. I was like, that sounded stupid. I'm going to just not bother. Time to bail. <laughs> Yep, and that's it. So pretty much the main staple cities, I mm. guess, in this. So mm -hmm. let's see what we got here. We got a guy in a vineyard drinking some wine. Very, very Italian indeed. Any guesses on what the recipe is for the month? It's not a weird one at all. Ooh, wow, this is sort of weird, actually. Lasagna. No, no, I mean you're not fine. Uh, Alfredo. 
It, I thought it was elf, it's a fettuccine with chocolate and sage butter. Yeah, that's not weird. What is this, mole? <laughs> I mean, it takes fettuccine, a stick of butter, shallots, 20 fresh sage leaves, pepper, a third cup of Parmigiano Reggiano, and two, one to two ounces of bittersweet chocolate coarsely grated. So you just grate it on top. It's not even like cooked or anything in a sauce. So it's really butter, cheese, sage, and chocolate. Literally, that's the whole thing. Biscotti would not be a bad guess for sure. Okay. Oh, there's got to be a biscotti. Like, how do you even do this without a biscotti in there somewhere, right? Do you know what that means? Just biscuit, isn't it? I thought it was like twice baked. No. Biscuit or something like that. I thought okay. that translated. You know, Trisket is for a, tri a three times baked biscuit? No. Do you know that some chips are for sun chips because it's made with renewable energy? It's true. One of their factories is entirely uh, yeah. solar. Yeah. Odd has it. Twice baked. Look at you. I don't know where I heard that. I watched a lot. You know where we heard that is Great British Bake Off is where we heard that. I don't know if that's true, that's but I true. watched a lot of Food Network in college and mm. grad school. I just watched it constantly because it's sort of calming and yeah. So we watched mm. a lot of that. So it could have been from there or from the Great British Bake Off. Well, we definitely heard of the Great British Bake Off and then I forgot what it meant. Fair. Yeah. All right. What thing is first? Well, do you want to do savory first, like we usually do? There's uh, a whole thing of chip or cookies in here too. Let's get yeah. a full bag. Full bag. I let's do the either. just do them on this? top. Well, you're not gonna like this. So let's just start with that. I might like these. You might. I don't know. I probably will. These are Italian black truffle potato chips. It, Italy's world famous truffles now in a chip. Italy didn't get its reputation as a global food capital for nothing. The proof is in the pizza, the pasta, and even the potato chips. That's why we're kicking off our Italian adventure with these. What's so special about them, you ask? The answer lies in the flavor, black truffle. Prized for their earthy tang, these gourmet fungi are basically Italy's version of buried treasure. No, really, they grow underground. Locals spend hours scouring forests with trained dogs in the hopes that they'll sniff some out. What about pigs? You gotta use a pig. Yeah, use a pig. Locals spend hours... Oh, uh, no, I already read that. All <laughs> the effort is worth it, as they're one of the most valuable foods in all of Italy. A 3.3-pound uh, one from Tuscany once sold for $330,000. What? <laughs> I was looking at three hundred. I'm like, well, that's a lot, but it's not crazy. <laughs> $300,000? <laughs> so this uh, chef is made of a truffle. Which I think is pretty yeah. cute. Fortunately, you don't have need trained dogs or over a quarter million dollars to discover Jeez. Italy's most highly coveted flavor. You just need to open this bag, dig in, and kick our delicious Italian adventure into high gear. This has chicory root fiber in it. Yeah, potatoes, sunflower oil, salt, cornstarch, chicory root fiber, natural and artificial flavors. This is a very simple. I don't see list. any truffles on the ingredients list. I don't either. That's probably the natural flavors. I would hope. Mm. <laughs> it was like, and a pound of truffles. Hey, look. It cost $100,000. Look what's in this. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Well, I don't think we should open... Oh, is it the it same is. exact one? Yeah. I think it's the same one. Ketchup but potato chips. it's just a different color. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. It says... Sends up. It's a different thing. <laughs> Sorry, but totally got distracted here. You're probably like, what's going like, on here? Yeah, these are the ones we tried today, and then this is the one that was actually in the in the bag, which is interesting. So I don't know what's what. And there's different is, calories and yeah, stuff different too. Calories. Hi Scrags. Serving size is fifteen chips, serving size is one bag. Uh I don't know. I think they're probably the same. But. I mean, they have very different bags. The color is yeah. different. That's why it's sort of weird. I don't know. We'll get to it. Get back to the truffle chips. Okay, well, that's all I have for it. Okay. Let me smell it. Do you smell bad? No. Hmm. Actually, you know what I need is my allergy pill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I keep, he's not, been, keep not taking it. You've been snorkeling all day. I know. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, that's true. We just didn't want to open two bags of the same thing if we could help it. 
that little lick that I just did, but it didn't go well. Hey, get down. Woo! Woo! That's truffly AF. Okay. Uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No. Not. <laughs> what am I tasting? Is that what truffles taste like? I don't know. It tastes more like pure garlic and mushroom together. It tastes like garlic, like butter just cooked together. It's, it's still kinda like garlic there a little and, bit. Garlic and bitterness. There's compost. a lot of there's a lot of bitterness to it. Yeah, I don't know. It was that's uh, Whew, that is, that's a hard pass for this one. I'm gonna write on here. Um, if there's anything in here that I like less than that, I'm gonna be shocked. I'm hoping there's not gonna be any coconut. We've, there's so much coconut in places, so it's a hit. I mean, for you guys watching, I'm sure it's more so than. <laughs> Garlic dirt is what he just wrote down. <laughs> funk. <laughs> Garlic dirt mushroom funk. That's, that's what I taste. I do not care for it. It is not good. Well, the next chip is that ketchup chip. Whew. That was not good. You want to try this ketchup chip? Sure. Everything else is sweet. Really? I think so. Hmm. No, there's a lemon pepper or something, so I don't, I'm not sure what this is. Whatever, man. Just open, whatever. <laughs> These kids are new music genres. Mushroom funk. Buongiorno, indeed. Truffle mm -hmm. does have a funk. This has got, this brought the funk. It was a parliament funkadelic, some might even say. Wow, these smell a lot more like ketchup to me. Those might be tomato, these yeah. might be straight ketchup. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, these are sweeter. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're definitely different than those. Mm -hmm. These are sweeter. A little bit of tomato, but... Less vinegar than you'd think. Yeah. It was good. I wish it had a tiny bit more salt. salt. Yep. But yeah, it was okay. I would finish that bag. <laughs> ketchup needs salt. Canadian ketchup. ketchup blades are much more red. Oh, I haven't been to the Lowe's Foods about the all dress chips. Mm. Still have to go get the all dress chips if they have it. Beachy Pens posted they got some in. Um, I forgot where he said Virginia or something like that. Hmm. And um, Damien said that they were very vinegar forward. So like, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I don't You mind. love vinegar. I do. I'm okay with vinegar. Strax, do you want to try the ketchup one? And I'll get you a tiny little part mm -hmm. of This is a perfect little size. Becky just picked up another bag of Dots pretzels. We opened one up this past week. Mm -hmm. I gotta get some more of the Southwestern mm -hmm. ones because I really like those. Mm -hmm. Beachy pens. I've seen them at Harris Teeter as mm -hmm. well. I know you have that down there. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Yep, we do. Yep. Uh, there's just not one close to us, really. Yeah, it's not as close. All right, what's next? Any one of those things. This one has pepper, so I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be like. It's Cute. lemon pepper, so let's do that one next. These are interesting. Oh, do you want me to read about this? We thought that it was the same thing. Yeah, sure. That, so it's the... Ketchup potato chips, an extra crispy take on the classic condiment. 30 years ago, potato chips were scorned in Italy. Without the traditional appeal of biscotti, they had zero footing in the snack market until best friends Alfredo um, Moratti and Andrea Romano came along. With the mission of bringing <laughs> chips to Italy, they started their business, Amica, producing both traditional flavors and totally new ones like ketchup. Before we will tell you if they succeeded or not, we think that you should try a chip or two. Okay, you've had some great news. You just tasted the current number one chip brand in Italy. Who knew? Hmm. Yeah. And the next we have lemon and pepper tarriani. How would you say that? Terralini. Terralini. 
<laughs> Walk down a U.S. Carolina, I'd say it like that. And you'll see chips on chips on chips. The same is true in Italy, except for Torali. These crunchy bread spirals are an Italian go-to available in countless flavors. We're not exaggerating. When putting together this box, we tried rosemary, coffee, and even egg varieties before we fell in love with this lemon and pepper one. With sweet citrus and a kick of cracked pepper, this one is totally top-notch. Oh, Jacob just got a pin in the mail. That's always exciting. Fancy, what'd you get? Haven't said yet. Aww, <laughs> I lame. missed. I missed. Weird. Yeah. They're like a tiny bagel. Except they're dense. Yeah. Plus. Interesting scent too. Oh wow. It's very, very limity. Yeah. Mmm, hmm, now you got let me take a double broad. Mm. I almost bought one of those and I mm. just didn't. Hmm. What do you think about that? The lemon is subtle. It's more smelling. I can smell it more than I taste it. Oh, wow. that's all I taste is lemon. Really? At the very end, I taste a little bit. Hey, get down. You need to be good. You don't be begging for food. You know this. It's going to get scolded more. Mm-hmm. I like the texture. I don't think Mike likes it. I'm real on the fence about the texture. Wow. Like it's, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's really weird. I don't, I don't think I've had anything like this. Mm -mm. I'm okay with it though. Yeah. I dig it. It's totally strange. I've never had anything like this. I would be interested to see what the other ones tasted like. Like rosemary. Mm -hmm. That would probably be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought mm. it was pretty good. It's very, it's, I can't think of a snack like it in the mm -hmm. U.S. Because you, lemon, you always think of it as being a dessert or a sweet type thing. There's no sweetness at all in it. So that throws my brain off a little bit. Yeah. She's back here chewing on my hand. Yep. David has some ink and wax pellets on the way. Fun. We have lots of things on the way. Who does? Mm. I do. Really? I mean, yeah. Fun. Who knows? When, I mean, I have tracking numbers for most of them, and mm. who knows? Nothing's been updated ever. So, yeah, I like those. I think I, I'm, I've come around to liking them. I mean, you ate another one without really thinking about it, so I guess you like it enough. Yeah, the flavor's good. Like, the first one, the aftertaste was pure lemon. The next ones, I'm getting, like, that burn of black mm -hmm. pepper, which so I'm really into. Yeah. Um, the texture's kind of strange, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's crumbly, yeah, but only on the is. inside. Like the yeah. outside, you like on a bagel how you like boil it, and so the outside is like firm. Yeah, it's craggles. Shush. It's kind of like that, but it's crumbly on the inside. It's mm -hmm. like a cracker. Yeah. I don't know. I can't describe it very well, but it's very interesting, and I'm yeah. into it. All right. What thing do you want next? I don't care. It's up to you. Let's do. Um, let's do this next. Go from one citrus to another. Orange zest carrot cake. Oh. Well, That's whatever. What it says. Marvelously moist carrot cake with citrus zing. You're probably familiar with carrot cake. Well, really, just one version of carrot cake, loaded with spices and nuts and topped with cream cheese frosting. But then there's Italian, uh, there's Italian style carrot cake. Free of all the bells and whistles, Italy's take highlights the natural sweetness of the carrots with just a dash of orange zest. Get ready to discover a whole new kind of carrot cake craving. Hmm. Okay. Well. It has agar agar in it. Shh. Shh. Yeah, are you a fan of regular carrot cake? Nope. No, Do I'm you not. hate it or are you just just eh? Not. It's a hard meh for me. Like I don't hate it, but I mean, given my druthers, carrot should not be in a cake. Like keep your vegetables out of my cake. I don't want any you don't vegetables. You like zucchini bread? 
I like zucchini bread. Zucchini bread is okay, but I always wish it was a banana bread. See, I don't like banana bread. I'd rather have zucchini bread. No, I don't like either of them. You put nuts in them, but... I see, that's the thing. With carrot cake, I wouldn't mind it more if they didn't put nuts in them. Because it just, the texture, mm. it throws it off. I like the texture of this. So the inside is very fluffy, and the outside has a bit of a crust, sort of? Mm -hmm. Like it's baked harder on the outside? Yeah. A little bit of a drizzle of icing or something? That looks different than the inside stuff, though, too. Yeah. Scraggles! You're going to have to stop that, sweetie. She's having fun. She's doing it loudly. Is it bothering you guys? Because we can make her leave the room. Tink. I like this. Yeah, it's not too sweet. Okay. Soft, there's no nuts or anything. What do you think? I actually like it. I think it's good. No. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't taste... It, I'm getting orange. I'm not really getting carrot. Mm -mm. Sometimes when people do a carrot cake, they do it like a very open crumb mm -hmm. on the, the sponge. And I don't like that because you get like chunks of carrot for so some reason. It's a nice sponge. Can't taste carrot. Just tastes a little bit of orange. Mm. And the cream's not weird. But... No. So, I'm not usually a big fan of uh, cream filled things, but that was very not. good. Scraps yeah. can't do any wrong. No. Ugh. They're not wrong. Okay. Hi. Right. I know. So you jump up here because yeah, I just said that you can do no wrong, huh? Well, this isn't for you. Sorry. Okay. That was good. Surprising. What you up to? You want to come over here? Come on. You want to jump up? <laughs> yeah, I want to jump up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get up there. Can't really see her, but how's oh, Una doing? Here. Oh, she's here. Yes, she is. She's Hot. like, I would like snacks, please. Give me them snacks. I want all the snacks. You did have breakfast this morning, you know. She did. All right. Okay. What's next? Um, next, I believe, we'll do this one. Okay. Which you definitely can't have. Definitely cannot. This is... Hazelnut Milk Chocolate Bar. Fall in love with Italy's number one chocolate bar. If it's number one chocolate bar in Italy, I'm going to... I have high hopes. High hopes. Exactly. If we're talking hazelnuts, there's no better place in the world to go than the Piedmont region of North Carolina. Just kidding, it says <laughs> we live in the Piedmont of North Carolina <laughs> in northern Italy. The native hazelnuts are prized for their excellence. They're smaller, sweeter, and nuttier than those grown in Turkey or the United States. That might explain why this rich chocolate bar filled to the brim with roasted Piedmont hazelnuts is the top-selling chocolate bar in Italy and why we're fully addicted to it. It has a very simple ingredients list again, so that's good. No, this is now too we many have animals. we have Katie now. Oh, <laughs> this is too many animals. You can't have this. No. Sorry. You're in charge of opening it. I have a dog. Piedmont what? Yeah, there's apparently a Piedmont in Italy as well. Yep. As here in North Carolina. This is very melty chocolate, unlike our waxy stuff. So. Mm. No, this isn't for dogs. You can't have chocolate, you'll die. Yep. No chocolate for Scrag. Sorry, Scrags. Ready? Dink. Well. Hmm. It's fine. Well. It seems like a chocolate that people like chocolate will like. Mm-hmm. Which is good. I'm just not the biggest chocolate fan, so it's like... It's I'm not fine. a huge hazelnut fan. I would have just had the chocolate. And that's all. Hmm. She's like, what if I lick your chin, though? Will you give me something if I lick your chin? <laughs> she likes when I breathe on her face. Because mm -hmm. my breath smells so good. Like chocolate. <laughs> I, um... Yeah, the hazelnuts are just in the way. Yeah. There's no reason for those. They don't really take... I don't know why the Piedmont one tastes, but maybe my palate is just hmm. pedestrian and doesn't know a good versus bad hazelnut. Well, it doesn't have any bitterness. And sometimes mm -hmm. hazelnut can be That's bitter, true. and those weren't bitter at all. They just weren't... I don't think they added anything to the to the uh, the chocolate experience. I have a funny story. Okay. At work, you know that terrible Russian snack that we had that was the coconut with the hazelnut in the middle? Oh, yeah. Well, I gave it to Mandy at work, hmm. and I forgot to... Well, I asked if she liked... Um, uh, coconut. 
What else was in it? it was it chocolate? Like a white chocolate or something? Anyway, I told her about that. And she's like, yeah, like coconut. I'm like, here, take this because I do not want it. And then she ate it and she goes, there was a nut in there. And I'm like, oh, I completely forgot to tell her about the hazelnut. And I'm like, you're not allergic. Oh, you're not allergic to it. It's fine. And but, she's like, no, I'm, I'm uh-huh. allergic to it. She wasn't. <laughs> but good. she's like, you didn't tell me there was a hazelnut in the center. But A whole, a whole uh, hazelnut. Like... <laughs> it was a pretty big hazelnut. Yeah. So, oops. Yeah. Sorry, Mandy. But she liked it, huh? I don't remember. Mm. She didn't say she didn't like it. Well, it's, that's a win, that's I guess. That's better than what we said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hated that thing. That was thing terrible. Was, just, was that worse than the... Yeah. Well... Uh, I don't know. Yes, it's, it was. It's a different kind of way. <laughs> this, I, I'm not a huge mushroom fan, but those are bad chips. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Just this one, and then our bag of stuff's here. Okay. Italian Amoretti. The tastiest almond cookie in all of Italy. Ready for the world's tastiest love story? The tale behind these classic cookies began in 1719 uh, Serrano when a young couple overheard that a cardinal from Milan was visiting in the church. Wanting to prepare him a treat, they improvised a cookie recipe using just the apricot kernels, sugar, egg whites they had on hand. The cardinal loved them so much so that he blessed the couple to a long, happy reunion. Or, I said reunion instead of union. Union. Not only did they stay happily hitched, their cookies went on to become an Italian icon. So, are you feeling the love? Better yet, are you tasting it? I'm just writing down the chocolate thing. You're just putting fine. There are Piedmonts everywhere. It literally means foothill in French. This in there. Oh. Well, there you go. We're not special. You know that, Scraggs? We live in a place that's called Piedmont all over. Yep. That's a lot of cookies. I mean, the bag looks like there's a lot of cookies. Huh. Aww. You're going to have to actually reach with your hand because I can't get past her. <laughs> These are cute little, little things. It's like a little dollop. Yeah. Oh, yours doesn't have the little... This is a tail. I this... have a tail. This one does, too. A little bit of tail. Smell good. Oh, they do smell good. Yeah. I like these. That's good. I like it has it has that brown flavor, like brown sugar flavor mm. that caramelized a little bit. Yeah. I like it. Yep. What are you doing? Let's see if there's anything in here she can't no, have. No, talking about her. What is she doing? Sit. I mean she's sitting. Good job. <laughs> you jump down. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I want this. I get it. She, she's eating out my leg. Is she? I don't know what she's doing. She just... Did you drop it? Did you swallow it? <laughs> I think she wants to get down, but she can't decide how. I think it's in her mouth, and she's just holding it like a hamster. <laughs> get down. She's trying to find a place. She's like, yep. She was just hanging it in her mouth, just waiting to jump down. Mm, these are really good. It sort of has a lot of air in it, but it's still crunchy. Mm-hmm. Like when you bite into it, you can tell there's sort of hollow in the center. Okay, here's one. I guess it's not. It is it has a lot of big air holes. Yeah. No, she's eating it now. Fabio, where you been? Mm. I'm gonna say this is the yeah. best in the bag. Best in box. Best in bag. Do you like it more than mm. the Tarlini? I do. These are great. Yeah, those are really good. I'm I wonder if, this. Can we buy more? Are they available? I don't know. Let me go look. Yeah, Feta, if you if you live anywhere near, get these. They're delicious. You mean Fabio? Sure. Not Feta. Oh, that's somebody else, huh? Yeah, Feta's a whole different person. Um, My apologies. They have, they have the, the awful. They have the awful truffle ones. No. Gross. Well, they don't have these. Hmm. 
It's too bad. I would have bought a box of these. Well, maybe you could just Google it. Maybe they'll have it at yeah, I mean, so. Darn, these are good. Mmm. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to eat more. Okay. Amaratinis. Is Thumbs where up. it's at, yeah. Very good. Mmm. Best in the best in the box, and it's not close. So I think there's just one thing left. I think there's two things left. Oh, maybe it's on the other page. Oh yes, I didn't see it. It looked like it was a full thing. It was much much smaller than what the picture looked like. The best of the best runoff in your phase of all the mm. boxes. Yeah, that's true. Artisanal Italian food has them, huh? Oh. So I don't know. We got a tiramisu something and a seltz soda See, thing, which is both hard. Of those. Yeah. Well, which would you like to do first? Well, let's do these. Okay. Up first, tiramisu cream milk chocolate balls. The beloved dessert just got even more luscious. Oh. Every modern Italian restaurant serves tiramisu. But in the early 1960s, it was the, the it was only served by one. Do you want to say that? La Becheri. In Treviso. Treviso. Yeah, Treviso. Treviso. Okay. According to legend, the owner was recovering from childbirth when she asked the pastry chef to whip up a pick-me-up. So he combined ladyfingers, mascarpone cheese, and cocoa powder, creating tiramisu, which literally means pick-me-up. The flavor combinations became an overnight icon, which you'll get to taste them in this luxury chocolate, luxurious chocolate filled with coffee-infused cocoa cream. Yeah, get down. Sounds luxurious. Here you go. I'm gonna eat my own because I believe I will like this. I am a big fan of a tiramisu. Oh. Oh just wow. Chocolate inside. How about that? Dink. What do you think? This is good. You just like to get that hint of coffee in it's there definitely. and cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. It seems like kind of discreet from the rest of the chocolate ball, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, mm. mm hmm. So, uh, Torali and Amaratini. Mm. Uh huh. Yep. Mm. Fabio, what do you know about these, Fabio? Alfredo's truffle chips. What I think is that these are really bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Do not like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are so good. Those are very good. Should we give us a lot more of those? Yeah. Mm. I don't think these are in the things you can buy either, unfortunately. Mm. <sighs> uh, I know Alfredo mm. restaurant, but not those. Huh. Mm. Interesting. Last. But not least, we have fizzy lemon candy, like Sprite and a hard candy. Italian are fizz whizzes. Seriously, at restaurants in Italy, every table gets a bottle of fizzy water. You'd have to specifically ask for non um, frizzante to get still water. In well, local like most markets, places in Europe, right? Probably, yeah, I think so. In local markets, shelves overflow with an endless variety of seltzer flavors, not to mention beloved soft drinks like lemon. Gazoa, gazosa, and orange anasciata. Uh, aranciata. Aran yeah, aranciata. And let's not forget prosecco. So, considering the local fizz fascination, this fizzy lemon candy makes a lot of sense and will make you feel super, super bubbly. Orange juice is aranciata. Oh, well, thank you. This is a very interesting looking candy. Here you go. Yeah, you can see that there's stuff inside. Yeah. Huh. Perfect spelling. Nobody drinks still water in Italy. Interesting. I'm not surprised. I drink a lot of still water. <laughs> but I was just wishing I had my water bottle in here right now. It's right here, but you... Womp womp. Yeah. <laughs> I was outside putting up Christmas lights until right before the stream, so... Yeah. I was outside working hard. I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. Well, what you think? Well, these I haven't gotten any fizzy yet. But. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah Miller, Miller family. I think so. That's where that the line in the middle. Hmm. Well, let's know when I get to it. Tastes good though. Mm -hmm. Well, we have trivia. Is mm. anyone ready for some trivia? I know Fabio is. <laughs> Becky, are you ready for some trivia? Okay. Becky, I hope you're tearing it up in uh, uh, Learn Lead trivia. I have been tearing it up this season. I'm currently number one or two in my uh, my my rundle. No. I dropped a, rumble, a rundle, but like whatever. I'm cr I'm crushing this one. No. Who was once accused of stealing the Mona Lisa? In the Louvre. Are there multiple choice? Okay. Yep. A. Giorgio Armani. Hmm. B. Michelangelo. C. Pablo Picasso. Or Da Vinci himself. Huh. Who was once accused of stealing the Mona Lisa? Giorgio Armani, Michelangelo, Picasso, or Da Vinci himself? Yeah, I'm going Picasso. Huh. Or Da Vinci. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say Da Vinci. That's my guess. <laughs> Angela says she stole it. Oh, wow. Uh... See Picasso. All right, we got a lot of Picassos and a yep. lot of Da Vinci's, it seems like. Well, the answer, answer is C, Pablo Picasso. Good job. Huh. In 1911, Spanish painter Pablo Picasso was accused of stealing the then little known painting from the Parisian Museum. The real culprit, um, Vincenzo Perugia, an Italian patriot who believed okay. the painting should be displayed in Italy. Once caught, he served six months of prison and was hailed as a national hero. National hero. <laughs> okay. Number two, in uh, 2017, the Genoa Airport relaxed liquid laws to allow which of the following? Okay. A, pesto, B, red wine, hmm. C, marinara, or D, cologne? Well, I got some of the fizz. I have it too. It's very... Woo! That's so cool. It's very tart. Mm. Sorry, say the sauces again. 2017 Genoa Airport relaxed liquid laws to allow which of the following? Pesto, red wine, marinara, cologne. 2017. Um, hmm. I think cologne because of like the cologne lobby. I think uh, marinara and pesto are like cultural things. Hmm. I'm going to go with pesto. I, I was going to go with pesto. I'll go with marinara. I'm saying pesto. Okay. Well, number two. The answer is a pesto. Solid choice. The new law allows tourists to bring home a full jar of the signature basil, parmesan, and pine nut blend, which was invented in Genoa. That's what Fabio just said. Did you? <laughs> what do tourists have to do to take advantage of the relaxed rule? Donate 50 cents or more to a local children's charity. All right. That's nice. Scrabble just put her paw on your desk. She's like. <laughs> uh, number three. The richest person in Italy owns which of the following brands? A. Ferrari. B. Gucci. C. Nutella. Or D. Versace. Oh. I'm going to go Nutella. I was going to say Nutella, too. Maybe because it's just the one that doesn't fit, or the one like you'd be like, nah, Nutella can't make that much money, but it's everywhere. It's that's the thing. It's international, and I'm I mean, not I saying Versace, that Versace, Versace, Versace is also international. And Ferrari, there aren't that many of them mm. because people can't afford it. But that's a lot of money per one. Yeah, you sell one though, you're doing all right. <laughs> I'm still going Nutella. Okay. Ferrari, Nutella, Nutella, Versace. Versace. Yep. Yeah. Who is it? The answer is C, Nutella. Yay! Itel, or Italy's richest man isn't Ferrari, but Ferrero. Uh, Giovanni or Ferrero, that is. The father created Nutella in 1964, and since then his company has grown into the world's second largest chocolatier, also responsible for Ferrero Rocher, Kinder Bars, and Butterfingers. Hmm. Today he's worth over $32 billion dollars. And he buys over one fourth of the world's hazelnuts to make Nutella. Fabio says Nutella's owner actually lives in Monte Carlo, though. Hmm. Kate, what? what are you doing? She's being a, a pest. The destroyer. Yep. 
for her move to Luxembourg. Mm. You really got your finger on the pulse really of uh, does. rich Italians. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, which of the following was pioneered in ancient Rome? A, fast food. B, line dancing. C, <laughs> yoga. Or D, high-fiving. They were super into the chicken dance. So, hmm. <laughs> like, take it from me. Which of the following was pioneered in ancient Rome? Fast food, line dancing, yoga, or high-fiving? I'm going to say high-fiving. <laughs> line what was dancing, a? fast food. Hmm. I don't think it's yoga. I don't think it's line dancing, because that could have been ancient. You know what I mean? And, like, mm-hmm. that's kind of thing. And high-fiving... I don't feel like the Greeks were orderly enough in general to be into line dancing. I'm going to say fast food. What, what about you? I'm going uh, high-fiving. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got another high-fiving. The answer is A, fast food. Huh. Ancient... Uh, a person with a Greek name here. I totally got it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Ancient Rome was home of the world's first fast food joints called Thermopolia. Customers would order at a counter filled with jars of prepared food, pay, and take their food to go. Sounds a lot like an ancient Chipotle. Hmm. No. Mm. It'd probably be good. Chipotle burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I wish it was a high five, but it's not. No. How much money is tossed into the uh, Trevi Fountain in Rome every year? $10,000? Five hundred thousand dollars, one million dollars, or ten million dollars. What? How much is money is tossed in the Trevi Fountain in Rome every year? Ten thousand, five hundred thousand, one million, or ten million dollars. There you go. Uh, Very nice. Thank you for. Yeah. Breaking it down for us. Thermopylae. Mm-hmm. We got a million, we got 500,000. <laughs> Get rich, build a fountain, and wait. <laughs> Step three, profit. Yeah, I was going to say like <laughs> one million. Uh, what was B? 500,000. Oh. 500,000. It's all of the above. No, I'm not saying. It's no, all the above. You just them all. <laughs> one mil sounds like a safe guess. All right, fine. I go for a million. I was going to go for a million too. So. Answer is C, $1 million. So when you visit Boy, Rome, you toss a coin in the fountain. It's said to ensure a return trip to the city. <laughs> so it makes sense that the attraction would rake in a pretty penny. Where does it all go? It's donated to a local charity that helps the less fortunate in Rome. Sounds like coins well spent are tossed to us. Wow. Yeah. That was a sleepy dog, aren't you? A million dollars in spare change. Yep. <laughs> That's wow, wow. To dye robes purple, ancient Romans mm. used which of the following? You know this one? I think so. What do you think it is? Um, I'll know it when I hear it. No, you said you think you know it. I don't. Hey Ray. A, moldy eggs. No. B, wet dirt. No. C, sea snails. That's it. Or D, red wine. No, snails. Well, you're so confident I'm going snails, too. <laughs> you shouldn't have said it so confident. Now I feel like I have the answer right. I'm pretty sure it's snails. Becky says snails, too, so I feel like I'm... Did you say wet dirt? Wet yeah. dirt. <laughs> Otherwise known as mud. <laughs> no, I won't. Soil. They should have said wet soil. Moist soil. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, I think it's sea snails. Jacob says B. No, Jacob, it has to be C. I really hope it Becky is. Becky and Mike are so convinced that it's sea snails. It is obvious. I haven't even looked, but it's sea snails. Becky says she knows her purple. To dye robes purple, ancient Romans used which of the following? Moldy eggs, wet dirt, sea snails, or red wine? Hmm. It's still snails. It's the answer. I think that the answer was actually uh, Nautilus. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Cut, they used cuttlefish. Did they? It's weird. I never knew that those were snails. They used sea turtle blood. <laughs> oh, which is purple, as we all know. Yeah. 
Uh, they use Klingon blood. No, they use horseshoe <laughs> crab blood. Oh, uh, that's blue. It's bright blue. Cyan. I know. Mm. I'm just naming sea things blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're actually running out of horseshoe crab blood. Did you know that? I'm not surprised. It's, we, it's used in a lot yeah, of like medical contexts. Yeah. Very much, yeah. Mm. Beetroots do make great dye. Mm. The answer is C. What? The answer is C. What? Horseshoe crab tails blood. <laughs> Sea snails were collected by the thousand and boiled in lead vats, producing two things, a highly coveted purple dye and a terrible, terrible odor. Because the dye was costly produced, purple robes became a status symbol, however stinky they may be. Mm-hmm. Hurry here first. Purple stinks. <laughs> Number seven. Only one of the following actually came from Italy. Which is it? Hmm. A. Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti. B. Mozzarella. Mmm, mozz. C. Chicken parmesan. No, that's not. That's why, That's an Olive Garden. D. Thing. Pepperoni. No. Oh. Hmm. Which actually came from Italy? Spaghetti and meatballs, mozzarella, chicken parm, or pepperoni? Hmm. I'm gonna go spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti, I mean. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go mozz. You going mozz? It's either yeah, I think it's either mozz or pepperoni, because spaghetti and meatballs, See, meatballs is not could a. Be Ameri- but I mean a meat and pasta thing. I think that that goes together. I don't think anybody's bothering to make. I don't know. I don't know. I think like pepperoni is a possibility. Yeah, meatball and chicken parm is definitely not. Not chicken parm. Yeah, I don't think it's chicken <laughs> no. parm. Um, while it's delicious, it's not real Italian. Yeah, I'm going to go... I just looked at the answer. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go mozzarella. The answer is mozzarella. Oh. Spaghetti and meatballs, chicken parm, and pepperoni were all invented by Italian-American immigrants in the northeastern U.S., in pepperoni fact, was invented in the northeastern U.S.? In fact, pepperoni just means bell pepper in Italy. Huh. Mozzarella, on the other hand, is Italian through and through. It's been made from local buffalo milk since 1570. Wow. You've never heard of spaghetti and meatballs? Huh. That's really something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your question about carandash? Uh, was your question just, can I review some Um uh, The answer is, uh, yeah, I've got one. I can do that some one of these days soon. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's seen him in like Mexican mo- movies or uh, Mexican American <gasps> movies. Why is it Mexican why, movies? Why did you say Mexican movies? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, sepia is from cuttlefish. Yeah, of course. So, Fabi, you've never had it either. I mean, I would believe that. Um, yeah. Same in Greece. Yeah, matzah is like super old. I mean, it's cheese, it, of it's course. It's incredibly I mean, old and like very easy to make sort of cheese. Because it's soft and yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's nothing complicated. Once in Atlanta. What'd you think? Did you think it was weird? Yeah, did you... How was it having sp- American spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah. Apparently, Atlas... Oh, Atlas yeah. Stationery is a fake Instagram account. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that too. Well, we had one for FC a few weeks ago. Yeah, so we copied FCs for, a yeah. while ago terrible people are terrible and like why though like what are you what are you well, trying, to, trying do? to like oh you want something give me your yeah, mother's maiden name and social yeah. security number and we'll send you this hell you know spaghetti and meatball is very american less common i'll start even in canada hmm all right good uh my dad uh dated a woman for quite a while who was half polish and half italian and she made some really gnarly meatballs meatballs and sauce so, I mean, it was like, you don't make as many meatballs, like in America, like you used to have like small meatballs. She made like four or five giant meatballs. Yeah. That's super good. I mean, I could see having like an olive oil and some garlic with pasta and a meatball. Because you're getting your meat, you're getting your spaghetti, mm. and you're just getting what they, you would consider a sauce. Whereas I think our marinara sauce is very American thing, but I mm. think in terms of having a meat with a pasta, it wouldn't be that weird. Mm. I don't know. I just think it wouldn't be a meatball. That would be a pain in the butt to make. Like, why bother? 
Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like dice up a chicken. Yeah, they or told something. Becky that they wanted just to have to give them all my info. Yeah. Wait, what? Where Becky, the Atlas Stationers. Oh. That person. They said that she won, and that's they did that to her. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. There, I, I see it now. Sorry. Weird. Very heavy compared to what we would cook in Italy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to be a pretty deep nerd, and also, like, kind of a weird jerk to troll the fountain pen community. Like, it's such a niche. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. Although, maybe that makes us, like, better targets, because you're like, who would do that? Oldest Italian restaurant in, oh, in the USA. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It must have been in Atlanta. Yeah, interesting. Cool. Last question. It is very common for Italians to blink until their 30s. A, live with their parents. Mm. B, remain single. C, exclusively drive scooters. <laughs> or D, remain in school. I think it's live with their parents. Yeah, that was my guess. <laughs> See very that. common for people in Italy to live with their parents, remain single, exclusively drive scooters, or remain in school until their 30s. Yeah, what I've learned from reality TV is that it's living at home with your parents. Yep. Because Americans, like, if you're living with your parents at 30, people are like, what is wrong with you? You're making poor choices. And I think Brits, too, but, like... Like, yeah, when you're 18 here, it's like... Get out. You're... you're <laughs> get out. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I mean, that's not really true now. Are you home I mean, for the summer? Many... Cool. Then you're going to get out again, right? That's <laughs> how it was. That, I mean, with yeah. my family, yeah, I was at school, and so I would come home for a little while in the summer, and then, yeah, leave again, but... Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people these days can't afford to have their own houses and so they're living with their parents yeah that's so. true oh becky says all of the above is we haven't had an all of the above yet that's true i don't know fabio you know about oh fabio says all of them yes maybe it's all of them <laughs> well well the answer is a live with their parents oh that was a good guess though you never know yeah Family is the most important aspect of Italian culture, which is why 67% of Italians between ages 18 and 34 still live at home with their parents. It's not uncommon to see entire extended families living under one roof. What do you think? Is this a custom you'd like to adopt? I mean, I think people have to if they want to or not, you know? I mean, yeah, it sounds like that. Would you want to, if you were 25, would you want to live at home? I mean, I don't know why not. It would have been okay. Yeah? Yeah, I've been fine, but I don't, that wasn't ever really an option. Like, I, I left for college and didn't, re- I could come back for, Yeah. I came back for like one or two summers. I didn't even come back for summer all the time. Like, it's kind of. Yeah, it depended on the, yeah. For like, undergrad, freshman and sophomore year, I guess I did. Free I rent is hard to pass up, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know. I guess I'm a little bit more independent. Like my brother lived at home after the fact for a long time. But I just, I mean, I think my parents even would say that too. They're like, you were just that sort of spirit that you, you just wanted to go out and Mm -hmm. see, live on your own and see how things are. And some people are like that and some people aren't. Probably also depends on like what kind of town you come from and stuff too. For sure. Yeah. You grew up in a really small town and so did I. And so Mm -hmm. I was like, let's get out of here. Yeah. You get to see, yeah, yeah go yeah. live someplace else and yeah, yeah. see how things, the real world is. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. Like there wasn't any place that was like an easy commute from where you grew up. I, oh to, yeah, like... definitely not. Yeah. So you, you were like an hour away from the nearest highway. <laughs> so, I wasn't. Defiance. <laughs> I remember, the reason I say that is that I remember driving back to Defiance when we were in grad school or whatever. And like, it would be winter or something. Mm-hmm. We're like, okay, take this exit and like get off the highway. And then it's like, oh, we're almost there. You're like, oh no, it's going to be another hour, hour and a half or something. And we just be like driving through I endless mean, there are fields highways, in the darkness. But they're like and, a major highway. Yeah. They're not yeah. a thing with like lanes or. So yeah, we were not far. We were about an hour from the turnpike. We were about an hour from 75, which goes mm-hmm. through. Basically, it starts in Michigan and it goes to Florida. So it goes the whole length of the United States. Yeah. So. I, mean, I grew up in Texas, so if you're an hour from an interstate, that's oh, impressive. Like that's true, yeah. Because uh, the way it's laid out, it's so much like that. But yeah, but if you're living in like, like if your parents are living in a city, and like you can work there, and maybe if you're going to school there, like that all makes sense. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's very true. I'm, 
Angela, I'm not trying to call you oh, out. Can we call you out? No. No. <laughs> no, no. It's no. very situational. Like we it grew up in like little places. One hundred percent. And again, we're not. I don't. We're not old, but I can totally understand mm. people that are in school age, around eighteen to twenty, early twenties, yeah. and mid twenties, not having the ability, which is how the economy and how things are, mm. uh, being able to yeah, afford like, that. I like mean, if I graduated now, it would be pretty tough. To, yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah, I don't envy my students. No. Uh, same here until the turn of the century in the U.S. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, that seems yeah. totally fine to me. But uh, free rent is hard to pass up. Yep, totally true. Yeah. I have that double Z. Made mama cry when you left at 18, says Fabio. Yep. Yep. So. But, yeah, when I left, it was just to college, and it was about 50 minutes away. So it wasn't like... Hmm. I was moving across country and I would never get to see my parents or anything like that. So yeah, my college was, is five or six hours from where I So grew. yeah, yours is pretty far, but so it was a, I wasn't living at home, mm. but I could easily at any time go and get away if I wanted to see my parents. I mean, in Texas, like five or six hours, like you used to go home for the weekend. <laughs> like, that's, uh, it's, it's quite the, you know, you go home on Friday afternoon or evening and come back, uh, yeah, Sunday. Yeah, accelerated it's, after yeah. World War II. Did our parents home around 18 or marriage? You know. <laughs> also, because who who's got room at that point? Like, you need to, you know, living spaces became smaller. Mm-hmm. Anyway, That's whole true. Thing. Whole thing. So. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. That's all our snacks. They have a um, a thing for a caprese salad. Basically, it's get some basil, get some cheese. Mots. And get some tomato. Yeah. Put it together. I'm not like the basic. biggest fan of that. You don't like tomato. Just I do, tomato. I'm so picky about You're tomatoes. About, yeah. Like a good tomato, I will just mm-hmm. eat like an apple. But like a hothouse tomato, like boring. Or if you bite into a tomato and just like all the juice just comes out, mm-hmm. gross. But like a beefy tomato that's got some meat in it. Oh, yeah. Any guesses on how m- many different varieties of pasta there are no no any guesses 200 on how many over it's over 200 four thousand no a million no it's not that many <laughs> it is just over 350 different varieties that's so many infinity so many i mean that's true i'm sure they're still making new shapes <laughs> that's, right that's right but they have a thing that um you can match the pasta shapes with their names. So, if you want to do a screen grab of that, you can play along. And the answers are right there, too. <laughs> the Priest Strangler? <laughs> there is one that is called the Priest Strangler. Wow. It is inspired by stories that priests would eat them so quickly that they'd almost choke. <laughs> Little ears, big snails, butterflies, twins, guitar lilies, and pen. Pen. So apparently that one is that. The priest strangler? Yeah. That's intense. <laughs> He's like, yep, Strode Pretzi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of these are just new. Uh, yeah. Places like Iowa and farm country has more extended families than New York or Boston. Yeah, I'm bet, I wonder if that's like yeah, a... Most of those, that's got to be a function of like just space available, you know? Yeah. Like, if you're living in Boston or New York, you don't have any space. Like you can't, you want as few people living with you as possible. Right? And yeah, how how can you afford to live without having like 15 roommates in a two bedroom or yeah, something? Right. Yeah. So yeah, Whereas you live with your family. Iowa farm country, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, even where I grew up, like a lot of people would go back and live with their family and stuff after college. Yeah. But that just means you're not escaping the small town. Like you either really like it or you just mm-hmm. couldn't get out. Yeah. Was basically it, but. <laughs> I, I have friends who like escaped and then went back and the, so yeah it's... I was just gonna say what percentage of people do you look up on Facebook and other places that actually still live in the hometown most of them a lot of the people I know yeah, do too a ton of them actually which is, I, yeah, I'm sort of surprised because I mean people would always complain and be mm. like oh this sucks I hate it here and then mm-hmm. If you do and you leave and I see you in college, why do you go back? I mean... Yeah, sometimes you just like it. You like the small town feel of it or, you know, you just like, eh. It's, eh. Or you've got a lot of extended families. So my family is really small. Yeah, that's true. There are only yeah. three of us. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. Um, but like, I can only think of a few of my like high school friends that I kind of kept track of. Like, 
my friend Derek went in the military, and so he's been living mm. in, like, I think he's in Germany now. We spent a lot of time yeah. in Japan and stuff. Uh, my friend Brian, like, lives in San Antonio, I think. So he, like, got a, l- mm-hmm. a little bit, but then kind of came back toward. I mean, uh, San Antonio is a city. I mean, yeah, you yeah, got, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. between where you live and I would say San Antonio is getting out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Springsteen lives 15 minutes from his hometown. Well, he loves Jersey, though. I mean, you know he's not going to leave New Jersey. <laughs> Isn't the plot of every other Hallmark Christmas movie moving back to small hometowns? Yeah, I yeah, guess. I don't know. I never watch those. I don't watch those. <laughs> we haven't yeah. watched any of those. I don't see a lot. My hometown dwindled from 2,400 when you were in high school. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Mine has grown. I don't know how um, much exactly, but it's definitely grown. I think grown. mine is about the same. I don't think it's really grown or mm. it's maybe gone down a little bit, hmm. but it's like still 17, 18,000 or something. Ours got a lot bigger, like a whole lot of expansion after Katrina. Yeah, you so, definitely did. Uh, a town. lot of people left uh, Louisiana and came to like the Houston area because well, it's not that far. Yeah, and, and basically where you live technically is a suburb, sort of, of Houston. Yeah, more it's or a little less. farther out. Yeah, but... I would call it a suburb, but it's not like a. It's, it's not, not like one a of the main. Suburb. Yeah, it's not like agreed. right there. It's like you know, yeah. forty-five minutes or something. But you could still live there. And a lot of people. Commute it's in. a commute. Yeah, yeah. 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 So and it's a lot, lot cheaper. Well, I mean, Houston, I don't think of it as like a really, really expensive place. Travels is nesting over here, trying to make it comfortable for herself. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the last census said there were like twenty-four hundred. Pe- 2,400, 24,000 people in my hometown. I want to say it was closer to 18 or 20 when I was there. Yeah. so it's That was 10 years ago, and I think it's blown up by probably another 10K, but we'll see. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not surprised based right. on the location and how huge Houston is that yeah. it's really growing up out. So, yeah, I would mm-hmm. not be surprised. And it's expanded. My, talking to my mom, she's like, oh, yeah, remember that place was all fields or whatever? That's that stuff. That's places people live now. And it's, yeah, it's that's a, whole a town. new community. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. New stores coming in everywhere. Yeah. Well, that, now we're off topic, but... Way yeah. off topic. Well, it was fun um, just to sort of chat. So we asked, oh, Becky asked, which is our favorite? We know the bottom. Yeah, the bottom for me still is that truffle chip. The truffle chip. What's your favorite? These. It was over the tiramisu chocolate. Tiramisu, ch- tiramisu chocolate was delicious, but number I only two? really want like one of those. Is that number two? Or is, That's probably or is, number is this two. your number two? I think probably the tier that fizzy thing we just had too that was, was really good. good. I would have those a lot. I think they'll probably give you king story. Oh, they probably would, yeah. Uh, really good. Um, I, mm. I yeah. So this is easily number That's one. Number one. This is up here, two or three, probably with the tiramisu thing. Yeah. And the candies. And then I would say oh, the that fizzy... carrot cake thing was mad good. Oh, I forgot about the carrot cake thing. What do you think the carrot cake thing over the chocolate thing? Just the chocolate bar. Oh, carrot cake beats chocolate for me every day. Well, that carrot cake does. I would say last, next to last. Next to last? <laughs> I mean, and I didn't mind those. Yeah. Have <laughs> you find something new to send it to? No, you don't have to send it to me. It's fine. You can keep your truffles. <laughs> Oof. I don't need it. No. <laughs> These do Get mm. some of those. Those are amazing. They're so good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then these chips over here weren't oh. bad. These are usually the best ones. Yeah, the These Thai, like Thai chips. chili ones. Thai devil chips. Very good. The Russian ones were okay. Also, like, check the bag on this thing. It's intense. This, like, the, just the, oh, the material, thick. though. Yeah, it's very thick. That's Maybe that's like, better for keeping yeah. them. It's weird like this. Yeah. It's that's like barely like a ours. bag. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, folks. <clears throat> I know, I didn't like that. <clears throat> you okay, though? Yeah, I'm fine. Hi, Scrags. Oh, look, there's a little dog. Uh, thanks for joining us yeah. for uh, another snacks, uh, snacks stream. stream. Snack stream. We have our next box from Yum's coming. I have no idea where it's from. Becky, do you know? That's <laughs> yeah. where we get our info is. <laughs> Becky, Becky, what's knows. next month? <laughs> um... Could be Czech Republic? Oh, I'm in mm. South Korea. I mean, no, a lot of these we haven't had. What is Prosecco and Panettone? What's Panettone? I don't know that one. Uh, Might be a holiday one. Oh, could be. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if it says. Oh, it's fruitcake? Interesting. Fruitcake. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. I knew I should have known that. Oh, there's this cookie. Hi, Oh, there are. 
Yeah, I can buy these cookies. Uh, Heck yeah, add to cart. Woohoo! It's a dollar eighty per pack of these. Check. Worth it. Becky, go get yourself some of these. <laughs> That's Here. Right. Huh, it's a holiday cake. Huh. Um. It sort of reminds me, flavor-wise, of a meringue. It's very like an eggy sort of, sweet eggy sort of thing. Hmm. And brown, it has that brown flavor, but it's crunchy, completely different. No. Not exactly a fruitcake. Have you seen Nicholas Day and Bayi? <laughs> hmm. uh, they're on the Yum Store. Yeah, yeah they're on the Yum yeah. Store. Yeah, yeah. It's a shop Italy? Totes. Think? No, it's just, sellers? I just scrolled down. Those Emertini cookies. I mean, you have to buy you have to buy three of them, but like whatever. You'll eat them. Oh yeah, well I gotta get some other stuff too because shipping is currently more than the food. But worth it. <laughs> totally, totally. Just starting semester break, so yeah, back to watching your channel. Hey, yeah. welcome back. Well, Mike's just about done for <sighs> six weeks. He's gonna be off. I don't know the last time you've had this long off. Never. Yeah. I don't Literally know. never. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I've finished my grading last night. Uh, I haven't put in my final grades yet, but I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. And then... Video games for Mike. And videos and... Video games and content creation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm planning. Gotta get that new Assassin's Creed. Mm hmm Yep. Can I stream some games over break? Yeah, I think I will, actually. I was thinking I could... Um, I was like, why don't I just bring my PS4 in here? It's like... You yeah, know, I can just bring it back and forth if I need to. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll probably stream some. Yeah, get back into the streaming biz. It's just been such a busy semester that I feel like my streaming is on Twitch has been very scattershot. Well, and... he found out that everything was a week sooner than oh, yeah. usual, so... <laughs> I was wondering, like, why I was so in a it's crunch. Frantic. Yeah. Um, it was because, yeah, administration made a mistake with when we, like, we altered the calendar, and I was part of it. Like, I... Was I? <laughs> yeah, I was part of it. And I didn't realize this either. And I don't think anybody else did. But Hades? Yeah, I can do some more Hades. I don't, nobody likes watching those, but I'll do them because I don't care. Uh, it's a fun game. I like it a lot. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so usually like our, our custom is that grades are due two days after the last final. But we moved everything up um, so that basically our students wouldn't go home for Thanksgiving and then come back to campus. We didn't mm -hmm. want to do that. Yeah. And so... Um, are you buying Cyberpunk? Oh, yeah, that comes out soon, doesn't it? I don't know, frankly. Like, I don't... I know everybody's excited about Cyberpunk, but I have no idea what that game is. Um, I've seen, like, previews. It's the one with Keanu Reeves and stuff. Mm. But, like, I don't know what the heck it is. So, like, maybe, but maybe not the day it releases. I don't know, 10th of December. Mm. Yeah, so next week. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I I don't know. Um, I have a friend in the industry. I might have to ask about it. Um Oh, look at you. Are you going to name drop? Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I have two friends. Oh. Actually, wow. I have like four friends. One of them is CEO. You have CEO four of... friends? I do. Yes. One of them is CEO of a game company wow, right now. Oh, look at you. I know, right? It's pretty dope. It looks pretty slow. Yeah, I don't care about that. It's fine. Uh, I mean, a single player like narrative game like that seems cool. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I want to play some Assassin's Creed, be a Viking. I love the ass last Assassin's Creed so much that... You know, I'm into mm -hmm. it. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I'll do some of that. And some Hades. Yeah, I'll play some Hades. Sure, why not? I got a new controller, actually, for my computer. So I'm not using the same, like, old busted uh, <laughs> Xbox 360 controller that's mm -hmm. from my original launch Xbox 360. Uh, for the one that got the Red Wings of Death? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twice. Wow. I, I went through three of those during the 360 lifespan. Mm -hmm. My PS4, however, is a launch day PS4. Totally fine still. Uh, watching an RPG ba uh, based on Cyberpunk Red that I like. This other one seems, eh. huh? Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the people making Cyberpunk are the ones that made The Witcher, oh, okay. CD Projekt yeah. Red. So I'm sure it'll be good. Like they do good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Hades and Control for you this holiday. Yeah, Control just came out on the Xbox Game Pass. Or the Microsoft Game Pass. I'm not a part of this conversation. I don't know. I'm <laughs> sorry. Right. I can't add anything. You keep looking at me like I have something to say. I just don't have anything. It's like, hmm, yeah. yeah. I was just looking to see how bored you were when we were talking video games. <laughs> I mean, right. it's as good as when you talk about bags. What? Well, 
about. I don't care. I mean, <laughs> I I talk about things all the time mm-hmm. that you don't care about, and then you yell at me because it's not on topic. <laughs> like, do I want to talk about 90 Day Fiance? Yes. And then you know what happens? I get yelled at after, like, I was trying to rein you in and try to make you stop talking about that. But when it's talking about video games and stuff, not off topic. It's not weird. And Yeah, yeah. To see whose channel it is and who likes to lay the law down here. Would you like to talk about some uh, Nine Day Fiance that we can't watch right now because we don't have TV? No. <laughs> cat, what are you doing? Do you just really want to be in the, the center? This is a cat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to bring the microphone over. People like to hear her. Um, yeah, Doom Eternal is on the Game Pass, and actually, funny story about Doom Eternal, we bought that at the very beginning of our lockdown here when it came out, same day as Animal Crossing, and I've played Doom Eternal one time. You, yeah, you've not played that. Yeah. Is that because life has been Doom Eternal since <laughs> March? Is that the reason? Yes. <laughs> it was, actually. Like, I, I lit it up, and I'm like, this game is really hard, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Did I you light it up Dynamite? Too. I did, like Dynamite. Um, and, um, I, I just never, I didn't do it. So I need to, I'm going to play it though. Are you? Yeah. Not on stream though. Like it's pretty, uh, Doom Eternal is gnarly. Mm. Yeah, it is a, it is a hardcore game. I don't know. Maybe I go play it right now. I don't know. I, I was going to for... go work out, but. Oh, well, I can do that then. Sorry. Oh, I should work out too. Okay, folks. Got to go, uh, work out, uh, work off some of these calories so I can eat the rest of these cookies. Cause oh my goodness, they're good. I keep wanting to grab, grab a bag. A no, it. I already had multiple ones. I'm going to go work out. <laughs> uh, well. Should I Grounded? I don't know what that one is. But if it's on Game Pass, I'll check it out. What's my Twitch? Twitch is right there. Yep. That's it. Ink yep. Dependence Mike. That's me. All right, folks. Uh, that's it. Say goodbye, Katie. Bye, Katie. Bye. Thanks for coming by. Yep. And uh, we'll that's see you... Well, next I'll probably see you on Twitch. Oh, the other thing I had to do is I had to record my uh, ink vent. So the ink vent, don't forget, Mike's been doing daily ink vent. Yeah. So I'll have to look to see. I'm trying to go through and make sure that they're different enough every day, so I should see what today. I should sneak ahead and look to see what I put Oh, it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Angela. Good to see you. Uh, sorry for calling you out. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Uh, bye, everybody. Have a good Sunday. Where's the where's the off button?